All right, I'm here at 1320 Darlene Circle. And as you walk in, the first thing you notice, you got the hardwood floors and the foyer. It's a pretty large foyer. Pretty unique thing. The stairs are a little curved. It gives it a different feel in the split level. As we walk up the stairs, you see this large living room, again, with hardwood floors. Two big windows, lets in lots of natural light. There's no fixture in this room, but you will see the crown molding all the way around. And one more thing, just another view of this curved stairs. It's a pretty unique feature, I think. Uh, as we walk through into the kitchen, you'll see the tile floors. At this little bar area that overlooks into the dining room. It looks like it is pulling away from the wall just a little bit here. Uh, one more view of the kitchen. You can kind of see the crown moldings falling down in that one little area. Cabinets, they look okay. Um, some of them are missing the doors is right here you can see with the range. Dining room, hardwood floors, crown molding again. Get a better view. That's the living room back there. And on the other side of the dining room, we can see the family room. Hardwood floors, large window, goes all the way down to the floor, lets in lots of natural light, overlooks the large backyard. Another window over here. It is wood paneling in this room. You can see the beams here, two fans. Looks like they kind of didn't do a too good of a job of painting here. Not a big deal. Two built-in closets, plenty of storage. French doors here lead out into the large back deck. As we go out onto this deck here, lots of space. You can see a good view of the roof right here. You get a good view of the large backyard. Pool, diving board, slide. Let's go back inside. Back through the dining room, through the kitchen, into the hallway. Hallway is hardwood floors also. Then we come to this hallway bath, tile floors, the double pedestal sinks here. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Back into the hallway. Little closet. Uh, first bedroom. Carpeted floors. A few stains on the carpet. You can see the baseboard. Kind of needs some touch up paint here. There's some of the stains I was talking about. Now this one has two closets. Neither one of them have doors on it. Um, this one kind of looks like a shoe rack almost. Interesting. Um, bedroom number two, again, carpeted floors. A few more stains on the carpet than this one. You can see two windows though, facing the front of the house and the side of the house. And closet here, no doors again on the closet. All the doors are missing the, the handles, all the doors to the bedrooms anyway. We go into the master bedroom, hardwood floors in the master. They do have a fan in the master bedroom, unlike the other two. Crown molding. Again, two windows. Now, the master bedroom is missing part of the door trim. There's a big hole in the wall right here. Looks like they had a TV mount. A um, few areas that were patched up. Now it looks like they started to redo the master bathroom and didn't finish it. They do have the tile floors, there's no vanity. Closet right here for the master bedroom. No fixture. Um, shower. Looks like an all tile shower. No door on it. Um, it's not finished up here. Some of the hardware is put in, not all of it though. So it looks just unfinished. 
And we're going to go back through, back into the hallway. Down these stairs. Into the basement. Now we get down the stairs, they got tile floors here. This large closet underneath the stairs. Uh, it's hard to see, but a lot of space under there for storage. Now we come into another den, family room area. Carpeted, wood panel, they have this brick fireplace. It looks like a wood burning fireplace. Built in shelves on either side of it. Two windows on the walls here, lets in a lot of light. Like I said, all wood panel in here. And as we come into this room, looks like it could be another bedroom. Again, carpet. One window here. A few stains on the carpet. Looks like the baseboard's unfinished. This doorway is unfinished. Um, this doorway leads to like a storage garage in the back of the house. Closet in here. They do have a full bathroom attached to this room. Tile floors. Looks like this is where the washer and dryer hookups go. Stand up shower only. You can see in the ceiling. And finally, we're going to go into the garage. And this garage is interesting. There's a, it is a two car garage, but it looks like they put up a wall right in the middle of the two cars, the two garages. This side right here, the walls are all wood panel. They put up a door right here. The door kind of has some damage to it. And here's the other side. They left the concrete wall, the exposed studs on this side. Here's all your HVAC, water heater, and a door leading to the backyard. And there you have it. That's 1320 Darlene Circle.